Hello, casual citizens. It's I, uh, your ever playing person of internet YouTubing, Matt. <laughs> oh, and that makes me Dan. Yes, just Dan. A out of process <laughs> of elimination. I mean, if I would have had to start that sequence, who knows? Who knows who I would have been? So I'd, I'm glad. I'm glad you solved this for us. Um, he's What's fine. happening with the tricky? <laughs> He's tricky, 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 tricky. It took me all of two episodes. <laughs> you did this, it. It's this okay. mammoth really wants to talk to me. <laughs> talk to what? me. Follow the path to Thorntail Hollow. Great. Okay. Thanks for that. I couldn't figure that out. Tricky. So, I gotta tell a story about my landlord. Oh. My landlord is great. He, you know, whenever I ask for something, he does it instantly. He's like, really nice to me, everything. He, he's awesome. But I've had this problem where in my bathroom, there was a water leaking through the roof. Right. So I, I called him, and this started like a year ago. I called him, and I was like, hey, there's water. Uh, I don't know what to do. He's like, well, it's your upstairs neighbors. And I was like, are you sure? Like, maybe there's a crack in the pipe. And he's like, no, no, no. It's your neighbors. They do this all the time. I was like, okay. So he got a painter to come in and fix it, you know. Right. Yeah, I remember you were saying that when, when me and your dad came to visit. Yeah. So it happened a second time, like a month ago. Huh. So he's like, ah. Oh. And again, and I said the same thing. I was like, oh, maybe it's the pipe that cracked. He's like, no, no, it's your neighbors. So he fixed it. I was like, okay. So this third time came around. And this is like a week ago. And I was like, hey, this happened again. He's like, oh, that's ridiculous. He's like, those neighbors are going to get in so much trouble. And I was like, are you sure it's not a pipe? He's like, it's not a pipe. And then he got the painter um, to come. Can I Can I pause you for a second? Back from dead? Yeah. It's, okay. It's a fairy. It is. It's a it Zelda is? fairy. It is. Wow. Uh. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> All right. So, well, so anyway. uh, okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. That was just weird. No, it had to be addressed. Good. So anyway, he gets this painter to come in. The painter looks at the landlord for the third time, and he's like, hey, there's a crack in the pipe. So uh, later I get a call for my landlord. He's like, hey, Dan. I was like, hey, how's it going? He's like, it's good. There was a crack in your pipe. And I was like, aha! I knew yeah. it! <laughs> That's really funny. You tried like, to tell him. I, I was like, I know nothing about construction, about plumbing. But for some reason, I, I was like, this has to be a crack of some kind. And I was yeah, because right. they would have to like be blatantly like throwing water I know oh over this their bathtub like it's that's too much it's too much effort yeah I don't know if it, I can kill these things it just didn't make sense can I kill it let's let's try to shoot it with with fire from a distance and see if that does anything nope it does not well you tried that hey I did. you know what you can't be mad you tried I did. You tried. Um. <laughs> God, I, I'm always worried as a homeowner that like I'm having a, a pipe leak and I don't know it, especially right. in this house. Like, uh, cause the guy. First off, I, I think I've said it before, but they use like a quarter inch thinner pipe for plumbing than they should have, like everywhere, in this house. Oh. Everywhere. Do you ever think Dan. the guy? built the house himself uh no i just think he made modifications that he shouldn't have so he, he took pipe out and made it thinner yeah okay he's probably refitting it at some point Stay. sure i believe it why would you believe me dan i don't know i guess maybe it was <laughs> copper pipe and he took it and sold it and replaced it with thinner pipe yeah like pvc is it I uh, know it's it's old metal pipe. Huh. Weird. It's very weird. I think I did the wrong thing. Yep. So we're just gonna do this for a minute because I'm too stubborn to fix it. 
Are those fishes? Can you imagine going through a place like this? This would be fun. No, it's not Are a fish. It's just... Oh, dang it. I can't. All right. Hold up. It's just weeds. There's nothing here. Shut up. Stay. Stay. You dumb oaf. So, Stay. I was going to say, Dan, that uh, the next time you come over here, uh -huh. we're going to play another Trash Bandits-like game. Okay. But... It's not Trash Bandits. It's not. It's, oh, is it that frog it, game? No, it's the frog game. You know, didn't we play the frog game? You're, you're a frog, and you just do goofy things. Frog? Okay. No, no. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's just you're a frog, and you you run around and do stupid stuff. No. Are okay, you sure what is you're it? not thinking what of the untitled goose game where you're a goose? No, you're a frog. Whatever. I it's don't know, frog, man. All right? Okay. Now, what, this what are we one playing? is a fighting game that is a physics-based engine game called Fisty Fluffs. Fisty Fluffs. Yes. It's a okay. cat fighting game. Yep. Last I checked... That's my mom. Uh, they only had 18 subscribers on their YouTube channel. It's still in development. Uh, there's an article on Polygon about it. You can actually pay them $500 to put your cat into the game. Oh. <laughs> which I think is hysterical. <laughs> it is hysterical. Um, but the game looks awesome, and we are absolutely playing it the next time you come over here. I is was going to play it. It's still in beta? It's still in development, yeah. Okay. Um, but I, I just... Dude, it looks so fun. I just, but it's it's uh, local player only, and two to four players. Okay. So, otherwise, I'd be seeing if you could do it, but I, I don't it's know. It's on PC, I'm assuming. Yes, PC. Cool. So Fisty Fluffs. Fisty Fluffs. Uh, which I think is just a brilliant name. It is. And plot. I'm here, guys. Oh boy, more plot. Oh gosh, my back. I don't know. Did you hear that? I thought I, I did. So I thought it was just a game. No, that was my back. Oh. Oh. I've had a pain there for like hours. Oh, it's you just popped there. it in? Yeah. Nice it's great. My mom gives them to me when I'm not feeling well. Wow. This dinosaur is annoying. Yes, isn't he? <laughs> so now we gotta find some kind of Pot flower. I mean, I mean, white white mushrooms. Uh, pot look, flower. Look, these guys are just everywhere now. What's with yeah. them? XP, man. Yeah. Need to get that. I don't dank even think we XP. get XP. I think it's just there, and we gotta kill him. Hey, you uh -huh. tell me a thing. I would love to help your queen. I just don't know where the white mushrooms are at, Fro. Frodo. Where are the shrooms? Is this game just about getting the shrooms? It's all about that the shrooms, would be awesome. bro. It's all about the shrooms, yo. Oh, I gotta figure man. out. There's one fighting technique you can use depending on which direction you point the, the um, controller. And I just love it. Hey, we were here before. Yeah. This is the <laughs> starting point. Yep. What did you just do? I just fed him shrooms, bro. But not the shrooms okay. that his mama needs. The shrooms that he wants. So he's in the shrooms too. Yeah, they're all in the shrooms. That's family. Is that why his stunted, his growth is stunted? Stunted growth is his jam. Jim yo. Jamboree. It's like his jelly to his jam, yo. His poison to his ivy, yo. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't know. I, I try not to question it. Ah. Look at this man. Nope, I didn't do it. Great. Uh, uh, I had the thought, and then it went away, and then you it was where you're bad. Going, do you? Dude. Yeah, I'm so excited. Everybody look up Fisty Fluffs. That's what I want to get at, though. <laughs> if you get anything about of this playthrough, out of this playthrough, it's Fisty Fluffs. It, it looks fun. They're, you can support them and donate to them to help them, if you're into such a thing. Um... That'd but be yeah, awesome I don't, I don't to know make where to a go. cat, a cat fighting, a cat-based fighting game, and that be your living, you know? 
Oh god, we're you need to find six. Yeah, that'll be on the next time we play this game. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we're not finding six of those. I gotta go back to Snowhorn. Ooh. Why though? Ooh. It didn't yeah, help how about Slippy. No. Alright, you know what? Before we end the episode though, let's go to visit the shop. Okay. After we get some monies. You got 16 monies. I, I know, I'm gonna get some more monies. 16 whole monies. Wouldn't it be great if you could just lift rocks and get cash? <laughs> yeah, who thought about that anyway? I know, I, like, I, it makes sense. They're living animals that are currency, which is also like the weirdest form of slavery I've ever heard. Um, Good but, point, but okay. <laughs> I mean, just gonna put it out there. My thoughts <laughs> into the universe. Got to fill up this time I, somehow, you know. I, I wish I could walk into a forest and be just pick up rocks and be like, "Ooh, I'm rich now." I don't think That's I'd ever want to work. That's basically how gold works. I think there's a little more to gold than you think, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It's how gold works. It's I how lift your up rocks mama and find works. gold. I need to it's figure out where wallet is. Mama works. This is like the most inconvenient shop to get into, and then the guy's a jerk to you. Hey. Let's bargain for what things. What are you buying? What are you selling? <laughs> I'm okay. <gasps> Marge. Homer. Get... That's your, get... uh, your Marge voice from uh, The Simpsons. I don't even know. To be frankly honest with you, I was just I was just hanging out. and. To be frank. What about him? Just to be frank. Oh. Don't question it. Just I'm going to question everything. I'm going to pay this much, Dan. No. Well, I did it anyway. You're only paying four for the next one. I will attempt. Yippee doo da. Did I just say PDA? Hey, it certainly did. We don't cool. need the moon pass. No, we don't need that yet. That won't be for a while. That's still a hot minute. That's way later. Uh, that seems actually relevant to our interests. Okay. Four. Four it is! Four! No. no. It's too low, Dan. Ow. Oh. It's so cheap. It's so cheap, and I want to be cheap, and I need to be cheap. Uh, you know, Let me be cheap, scared man! Is fun. What? What? Actually, bargaining for things in real life is fun. <laughs> Haven't you ever done that? I'm never not a fan. I just want to like just tell me how much to pay it. I don't I don't have time for your trickery. <laughs> Whatever. My, my form of haggling is going on Amazon's website and then going to Best Buy's website and seeing who has it for cheaper. Good point. That's Good that's point. modern day <laughs> haggling. <laughs> it is. I forgot which door this was in. I'm getting that expensive PDA, bro. Mm. Personal child display sport. of ass. <laughs> Did you just have a stroke? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of a word that started with the letter A. <laughs> so you just went ass instead. Yes. I love it. Oh, it's this. What is this? I'll pay you eighteen dollars. Oh, good deal, good deal. I got it for two uh, pennies off or whatever. Is it like yen? Where are no pennies? It's just a dollar. What is this? It's, this is Fox's high def display device, Dan. And if, oh. you, if you asked Slippy, you airdropped it, uh, but then he gave it to the shopkeeper, uh. and then I, I had to buy it. And the shopkeeper never misses a chance to steal. I mean, get scarabs. So if I press Z to bring up the display, I can use C stick to zoom in and out. Uh, kind of like this. What? Oh, that's cool. I like that a lot. I'm a snake. Yes. Alright, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>